and good morning everyone welcome back to another day of delen on the oops on the um dadcraft 73 java patreon server yeah and today we are working a little bit more on the auto farms that we started on thursday and uh or on thursday sorry today is thursday um started on tuesday so hopefully we can get things rolling fairly quickly here and see what we can get put together. Okay, let's see if everything is cooperating for us at the moment. Get your... Yeah, okay, we should be ready to rock. There is a lot of popping and bubbling and whatnot. Off we go outside. Let's see, ooh. We can see where we left off. Okay, we've got the farm here. This is going to be a bamboo farm, so I'm not too bothered by the fact that I haven't got much done on that, but we need to make some pistons to start with. And I always forget what I need for pistons. Oops. Oh, right, can't do it there. I kind of wish, maybe I'll find an add-on for that or something, but I kind of wish you could still search things and then have it complain at you when you don't have the right grid to actually make it. Okay, we need some planks. Got cobblestone. Got some iron, not enough, but I know I can sort that. I just need to get more planks. Let's go and steal some birch ones from the collection. Alright. Rather than eating up all my space, actually, I'll just get rid of that in a second. There we go, more planks than we need. Nice. Let's see what can I throw out. Uh, we don't need to chase cats at the moment, so I'll leave the fish behind. Need a bazil uh, I do want trapdoors. I'm gonna take these for theming. Hmm, can I do anything else behind? Let's ditch those two. Oops. Give me one quick second. I'm going to just shut off a, a double monitor I've got going on. Okay, game sounds. I figured out the challenge I was having yesterday. It turns out that the um, sound that I was working with actually had, uh, what's the word? Um, actually had a uh, problem with the with the monitor plugin that I was working with, and I had to shut that off. So. That was where our, our challenges came in. What do we have here? Redstone. 23. Yep, that's more than enough because I need to use them for the other farm as well, so we should be okay there. Oh, right. Oof, oof, oof. I always forget that pistons are annoying because they need to be directly in front when you put them down. should do the trick and then when these fire up when the observers fire off then that should cause the the pistons to go nuts and that should basically do the trick okay. now if I close it all up what do I want to close it with let's see let's grab a shulker so we can have some mess out here Oops. 
I want some bony space, yes. Grab some glass and shut it in with that. Mm -hmm. Great. No shulker monsters here if we can avoid it. Mm, I don't need those at the moment or these. Let me get stone. I don't need those. I seem to be okay with the I might want a ladder, so it's... I should do for now. Alright. And I built it a little bit too high. Where did my shovel go? Here we are. Alright. Don't want to miss your chat, so I'm just gonna move it over a little bit so that I can see it better. And flip that around. All right, I'll do for now. There we go. Okay, now I can see what you guys are seeing and I can hopefully figure out which end is up. All right, back to the game. So let's take out the extra row. Um, <laughs> moo, 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 they say. what I needed, and that might explain a lot. So I need to grab some of the actual bamboo. You can't have a bamboo farm without seed bamboo to start. Mm, yeah, it's more than enough. Oh. And of course chests, because I have chests waiting for me. Right. Had coffee this morning? And uh, it's a good thing because I would not be awake otherwise. Um, last night I was playing a little bit of, um, actually more tweaking my setup a bit last night and um, and uh, absentmindedly drank leftover coffee that I'd had earlier on. Now, unfortunately, like some of the, oops, unlike some of the people uh, that tend to watch this channel, I don't handle coffee late in the day fairly well, or at all well, I should say. So, um, so what I had to do was just realize that it was out of my, get it out of my system because it had me staying up till 4 a.m. And nobody needs that. Because you definitely don't get a good sleep when that's the case. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There. And then I'm going to need the redstone to go back. And how did I miss that? Oh, I must have used it up when I made... Yeah. I used it up when I made, um... The pistons. So I guess I need to go buy some more. Oh, I had some in storage. That's good. Excellent. When you accidentally think ahead, that helps. But I don't want to connect these. This is one of the perks of, um... Oops, what am I looking at? Nope. Oh, we're gonna have them all firing everybody. Because I did this back part wrong. Don't like the dirt anyhow. So let's switch that up for stone.
There we go. Okay. That's enough stone. And redstone. And I'm drawing a blank today on how to make it just a dot. I remembered earlier in the week, and now I can't seem to remember. But that's okay. It's not going to kill anybody if it fires the whole thing off every time. It's annoying, but... Um, Bedrock doesn't get that opportunity anyways, so if I want to just do things somewhat similarly between the two from time to time, I have to remember not to take advantage of perks like that. And if I can remember how to do it, then I will swap it, but it's not gonna hurt anybody if it doesn't turn into a dot. Now, if I remember correctly, Nope, that did not work. It should have. I got this wrong. That would explain a lot. All right, let's tear it down. Because that's the big tip. Things are blinking and stuff was not working because I did it wrong. You know, it's one of those you're doing it wrong moments. Probably need a t-shirt for that. Hey, you're playing the game wrong. Oops. I don't need to, don't need to be there, nor do I need to squat. Come on, you. going and falling off stuff it's going to be an interesting week and an interesting weekend uh, if I'm falling off things already then we are in severe trouble for the weekend but we'll just have to see how things go uh-huh yeah not like that now I get it to go without having to put blocks in the front yes I can Good morning, good morning to anybody who has just joined us. Um, today's a bit more of a maintenance stream, just building a few farms that should have been built a while back. And um, and then after that, we'll work on, if we need to, we'll work on um, just some materials gathering for the, for the weekend. Because there's a couple ideas for the stream going on, but we'll just have to see how things turn out. Uh, every time I plan to have something in advance, or something done a little quicker, then I tend to overestimate my timings. So I think I would try to undershoot this time around just to see how things turn out. Okay, what have we got? Oh, okay. So first off, let's do a little maintenance while we're here. Uh, that's not going to help. I'm just going to ditch some of the stuff I don't need for this one. That up. And what else do I need? I don't need that many chests. Rails for now. More wood than I need. Mm, okay. That should do the trick. Just a little bit of maintenance time. Take out some of these excess flowers. Oh shush! What is he missing? So I have figured out my plan for the weekend. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a new thing for me because I'm attempting, and I'm. I'm going to announce it here. I'm actually attempting to put together a mob farm this weekend. Um, I know I have a trash design over here that was temporary, um, but I'm actually hoping this weekend to get it to... Um, sorry if I talk straight. Hoping this weekend to get one to work. I'm actually going to cave and try and put one up in the sky, which will be an interesting feat. 
assuming I don't fall off the pillars. So we'll be needing lots of ladders and lots of junk stone like cobble and so forth. Okay. So that's while that's going. Just need a little bit of iron out of here. Let's take the rest of these junk poppies. And what we can fit of the iron. This is just a wee bit of maintenance. So, back those up as best we can. Alright, iron blocks. Let's throw those in the box. And grab some more. Wow, just a little bit of cleanup. Now I get these ones in, yes. Alright, let's clean up some more iron. So first I had a, a social iron farm that I felt was slow. Now I've got far more iron than I know what to do with, which is good news. If I need to, I can actually turn it off, turn it off, so that's fine. I'm just going to get myself a good sized storage of it and then shut her down. Okay. So for the day, um, I did look up another good news story, just to see if I could find a neat one. And today's good news story happens to involve an 80-year-old gentleman in Alaska who, um, by the, his senior year in high school, he actually was married and had his first kid with a second one on the way. So um, he had to actually have a job while he was in school. And he worked at an Air Force base. But it was like an hour's walk to get, oops, and like an hour's worth walk to get to work. So um, he would basically pretty much just get started on his homework from school, and then he'd have to walk to work. And by that point, um, of course, he, he just barely made the state required minimum in Alaska to be able to get his diploma. So when he graduated, unfortunately, he got a diploma with a great big red stamp across it, notifying that he had just got the absolute state minimum. Which is a little bit sad, but I mean, this happened in like 1961. So, um, of course, many years later, his granddaughter decided that it had really, like he'd kept the diploma, but it had always been a, a bit of a rub in your face that this, or the, the state had basically told him that he was terrible. So, um, so she put a post on the, the region's Facebook page hoping to, to connect with somebody who might be able to help her get hold of a new diploma for him. And instead, she managed to get hold of the principal for the school, which uh, now had a new name, and um, like Western, West Anchorage High School. And at that point, um, they, agreed to, they agreed to get this gentleman a new diploma without the stamp on it, but they actually went above and beyond, and they decided instead they were going to have a, a full-on graduation ceremony for him. They brought in the cheerleaders to cheer for him. They brought in the school's choir to sing for him and, and play, you know, play graduation music, cap and gown. You got to walk across a, a stage at the school, and they gave him a brand new diploma without that awful writing on it. So I was quite pleased to hear that because it's, they fixed it years and years later. I mean, in between, he'd become a successful businessman, and he had that part works. Um, and he'd done a very good job holding down a, a job and a company and written a book. And people, or he deserved to have recognition of the fact that he had worked really hard. Um, so of course, it, a lot of a lot of places don't take into account when um, people have, I guess you could say, extenuating circumstances complicating their ability to do school. So I quite like the the fact that this school was willing to step up and change it many many years later so now he's got now he's got a copy of his diploma that he truly earned but it's actually 
far more um, pleasant looking, I guess you could say, than the earlier version. And it can be something that he's proud of, rather than something that he spent his life being ashamed of because he had other things going on. So I was really glad to read that one and felt that I would share that with you as your good news story of the day. Good morning, fantastic Sherlock Fox. Hopefully you're not too busy with um, meetings today. Right, okay, so we've got... Oops. Can't exactly have things running across if I don't have the rails. Rails, rails, rails. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Need to make gold for rails. I can never remember how it's supposed to be. Do I even have enough? No, I do not have enough. How far am I out? Hard rails. Six. And I have four. Boo. Okay. Alrighty then. So much for that idea. Hmm. Sounds like this farm will probably be manual until I can get um, what's the word? Until I can get more gold for the rails. So think, 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 think. Okay, let's build it a little different in the meantime and see whether or not I can at least recover some of this by sticking a water trough out front. Because nether trips, yeah, not not one of my fortes on on camera. Doable, but not a forte. Oh, wrong. Wrong pick. There we go. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's put... Gotta go get a couple stairs, because if I don't have stairs, I won't be able to open that platform. Stairs or slabs would do. What have I got? Um, oh, I do have some slabs. Okay, let's go with that. Oops, I need a bucket. Oh, I have a bucket of water. Okay. Did I? Yep, there's the hoppers. I'm gonna need hoppers. So for now. Is that open under that? Yes. Well, hopefully this won't be for long, but at least it will get me going. I know there will be some loss from doing things this way, um, but at the moment it's better than not having any at all. And... Oh. Hmm. Okay, it's not quite what I wanted. Let's go with a stair. On the end there. Cobble stair, but it is what it is. Actually, take a quick trip over here instead. Just get ourselves one stair. Why not? There's. Alrighty, okay, so we've got one stair. The end. This one. That's what I want to switch. Okay, can I put you here, please? And if I put the water bucket on the stair, exactly. Perfect. All right. That will do. Uh, not, not that. Class, please. Class, please. 
we're gonna go glass on this one and there oops i like my glass boxes can you tell all right so as you can see from the back there i would prefer to have rails underneath the other portion instead of the um, water pouring but at least this will, will get me something to start with and then I can always upgrade after another trip on the, on the bright side I won't be needing rails etc for the weekend build so if I don't make it to go and get rails before then um, yeah it is what it is box this puppy in. What do I want for roof? Let's go with the lovely non-spawnables. Alrighty. So this one's one that, as you can see, I can do this one from memory, as I can with the, the sheep farm. Uh, not all farms are like that, so I've actually had to take some, some notes for myself. Um, to see what I want to build for the weekend and we'll find out on the weekend whether or not my notes are sufficient but I'm pretty sure they are because I'm planning to do the, the mob farm undecorated and we'll see whether or not I'm going to, to choose to decorate on stream I kind of doubt it um, I'm not even sure if I'm going to decorate at all we'll just that's an up in the air piece okay I don't need this row. Pull that out. Oh, that was kind of dumb, actually. Might be better off to fill that in. Suggestions or changing ideas on the fly. Oops. Yeah, water's an option. I mean, I could also use ice for that. Um, for that mess up front. But water will work for now. And if I lose the ones that just sit on top of the, the dirt, that's okay. All right. about leaving one one block space but it's gonna be mob uh, spawnable as it is so the less I have to worry about mobs the better okay let's just throw these down not a perfect solution but it gives me space it makes it easier for me to figure out how to get up there does everything seem to work? Um, what have we got going in the box? Oh, haha. Yeah, well, that's not gonna work either. I had half slabs for a reason. Let's go down here. Come on, stop pushing me off. Seven. Okay, good. Better than a kick in the pants. All right, so let's see if we can do rinse and repeat, I guess you could say. Um, but the other one can be the other way around. It's only sugarcane. Nothing exciting there. And a little bit more. More observers. I have the right number of pistons, so we're good there. Um... <laughs> I we need those. Do the rails till later because I'm not going to need them right away anyway. Where am I going? Oh right, I need quartz. That's what I'm looking for. I knew there was something I was forgetting. Mm. Uh, 
I said quartz and then I promptly forgot what I was up to. This one? Yep, yeah, that's the one. Should probably go in the redstone bottles instead, but we'll see. Okay, that won't get me enough. So let's take a few more. Um, too many things all at once. Let's just throw these away. So, flowers, carrots, oh, get me some space. Oh. Nope. Headed towards bedtime, but not quite ready yet. Efficiency. I don't want efficiency. I would like. Don't there. I want this one. Perfect. That should be my fortune axe. Yeah. Okay. Good. Five and three, yep, that'll be perfect. Don't know why I didn't need the rest, but it's okay. I will leave that here. I'm not gonna need that box, so let's what's in this box? White concrete, okay. Why do I have a blackstone box? Let me just look at putting that away. Hey, alright. Hmm, yeah. What we need? Let's try one, two, three, four rows deep. Okay, what do we got? One, two, three, four rows deep. Like, just. But. Oops, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, because I've got the row up top. I do get that one hanging over top. Four. Let's take it one here. All right. Oh, hush. Where did I put? Didn't bring enough stone. That's smooth. A fifty will definitely do the trick. Okay, copying this one because my brain just blanked. Two, three, and then I put stuff on top. Yeah. Actually, do I need to go that high? Oh, right, rails. Around. One, two, three. Yeah, that is what I said. Okay. I don't need to move it over like that. Right. So today I've got um, Sheep Queen still at home. Unfortunately, she's got a bit of a, a persistent cough that just won't go away. We were going to send her back to school today, like we were yesterday and the day before, but it just seems to be that her cough is uncooperative. Um, but we gave her one of those rapid, rapid antigen tests, I think they call them, and she um, comes up negative, so 
He's not doesn't have COVID, which is good news, I guess. Oops. One, two, three. I can put the dirt in there. One, two, no, dirt's in behind level two. Okay. Not out. Two, three. Why am I filling that in? That's kind of silly. Yeah, that's the one I don't want to fill in. I think I made a mistake on this one anyways. I did make a mistake. Trying to figure out why things were so high. That's... yeah. I'll have to revamp that one because I made a big boo-boo. Alright. Let's just throw down the rails even though I can't bother or I can't get the art going on there yet. And so that'll be the rails. This will be the chest. It's a quiet morning, which is actually not always a bad thing. Um, farms, farms, farms. Right. It's a little bit crowded for the base, but I'll be honest, when it comes to travel time, I don't mind um, having things tight. So some players really like to space things out. Um, I tend to put things a little bit tighter, but more of the decorative stuff is going to be a bit spaced. This unit was actually built before the sheep farm and I hadn't thought about putting the sheep farm in there so it's a little cramped but um, other than that we're doing okay in terms of spacing uh, and I don't mind things being tight as I said so having these two back to back because they're functional pieces not decorative pieces um, I don't think it's going to be of concern going forward okay so let's put that and that and the rails would be here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And I know I'm going to have extras, but that's okay. Yeah. Definitely screwed this farm up. It's supposed to be lower. This does what I need it to do, but I need it to be one block lower when I go and do the iron, or sorry, the uh, rail carts. So I might as well fix that, but just let's build this one first. Okay, and then the dirt's going to be on top of that. Seven, eight. This one, one more, we need to block this part off all the way up. So this is the one where the observers are on the bottom and the pistons are on the top. No, hush. If you're catching a bit of extra pause from me this morning, um, although probably shouldn't be, but I understand that there will be pretty likely to have extra pause um, because, sorry, um, because I um, I'm getting a bit of a double monitoring going on, and I didn't have that on Tuesday, and I haven't changed a single thing since then. Not even like the only thing I did is reboot the program, so. Rather than wasting your time tracking it down, I'll just leave it as is. But it does make me respond a bit slower sometimes when I hear sounds. All right, uh, where was I? Oops. Okay. Then we're gonna have the pistons on top, and that was where I messed myself up, is because I got the piston dirt in the way. I left it in there when I should have taken it out. Okay, let's put these down and then pull that out right away so I don't make the same mistake on this round. So this one is going to be Sugarcane Farm, which does need the water. 
so I will be needing to pull out stuff at the end or in the back but once again it's not necessary for me to do right now because as if I'm doing the water up front for um, for a wash in like the other side then I won't need to have um, the water in the back yet so I can do that as a separate bit I guess separate layer so let's oh, I'm gonna need a stair One more. There we go. And I'm also gonna need to make a trip to get some more water. I think I'll just say forget this and go and get another bucket so we can do an infinite water source at home rather than running all the time. Da -da -da -da. So for those who who hadn't, I keep finding eggs all over the place. Hmm. For those who hadn't heard, we have a stream weekend coming up um, using the Diecraft Patreon servers, and it's once again on Saturday and Sunday at the end of the month. So as I head back, I throw that that screen up, and so you can see we've got the schedule on the top there. Um, I've got a couple of slots on it, but it's definitely worth checking out as many of those streamers as you can because they are fantastic people doing a great job with with their streaming, so it's always worth giving the, those guys a, a like and a, or sorry, a follow and see when they are, uh, they are busy streaming. Yes. And um, we've got people from all over, right from, oh, oh sorry, from all over the world. Uh, we've got Java server people, but we also have uh, plenty of Bedrock server people. In fact, the Bedrock crew are the majority of the people that you'll be seeing this weekend. Um, so like last month, we are going to be doing handoffs in between. Oh, bedtime. And I just ran around with that poster up too long. Okay, so we've got ourselves an infinite water source and I'm just gonna take a quick nap. Now we're back. Okay, let's roll. Now we've got the the water source. Let's get down those blocks that we need for it. First off, we need the, that stair. There we go, and then the glass. Uh, do I want to watch the source this time? Yes. Blocks, blocks, blocks. And let's see if I can remember to slab it this time before I go ahead and put the hopper in. There we go. I'm lucky I did this one right the first time, but we'll just have to see. Oops. Come on, glass. Let's go, please, and thank you. All right, up the hill. Let's get that water put in. Water, water everywhere, not a drop to drink. Alrighty, that should do. Just add a couple more glass on this one. We don't need to be able to see all of this, but that's okay. I do like seeing how things work sometimes. Um, I know I say I like to hide stuff, but it's one of those six of one half dozen of the other moments.
All right. As long as I can reach to put the sugarcane seeds in, then I'm ahead of the game. This one doesn't need to be super tall. Let's go get some sugarcane and see what we can do. If I've got the space, yeah. I don't think I'll have the space to knock it all down, but might as well go with what we got. I will leave bases there to grow on their own, just until I'm sure that everything else is working. And then I'll come back and clean out the, the extras. Good morning, Neon. Um, actually, you happen to remind me. Um, I was poking around. can't remember whether you are on Android for your tablet or if it's an iPad. Um, letting me know that would actually be helpful. But in, in any case, I was looking around and I do have closed captions on. They're rather they're YouTube style flaky because apparently they use the same database. But um, I noticed that the iOS people, unfortunately, have a, they actually have to go into their, their device settings to turn on the closed captions, whereas Android and uh, Windows machines and possibly Macintoshes don't have to go in there, they can find the closed captions on the screen. If somebody is at a point where they can't have sounds for whatever reason, maybe they're, I don't know, driving with somebody else in the car or um, possibly at a work meeting or at a work being incredibly bored and still wanting to lurk, uh, that's totally fine to be doing. But uh, if you guys decide you need closed captions, then just be aware that the iOS people have to find it in the, in the um, accessibility settings, whereas Android and so on are a little bit luckier and they can find theirs on the main screen. And... Oh, ha 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 ha. Of course. And I went and made it so that I can't get in. Go over this one. Can I reach it now? Well, might as well have to climb in there anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, please. Eight. Why can't you? That's interesting. I cannot click on that one. Hmm. Odd. Can I put that there? Yes, I can. Can I put dirt? Uh, sugar cane. Oh, because there's no water. Aha. Right. Forgot about that. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll just make this one one unit shorter. And then I have a little bit more space to come down the hill. Doesn't feel quite so claustrophobic anyhow. Take that one off. We'll just move the stairs. And do I care? Yeah, we'll chop the end off. Why not? Yeah. So, so for the Android mobile app, you're right. It is. It, at least it's within the Twitch app, whereas um, the iOS one's quite buried outside the app in the system settings. But yeah, it's just, it's one of those things that I know not all Twitch users have. And I know some other, sorry, Twitch streamers have. I know some of the other streamers also have gone a different route and uh, have instead chosen to use um, a closed captions extension, which some of them you can, the users can turn off, like your viewers can turn them off. Other ones, they can't. And that is... A bit of a disadvantage, I suppose. Oh, right, I can... I just chopped that off for no reason. I can go eight. Do I care? Hmm. 
Yeah, plain numbers are gonna bug me. Chop things off and then put them back. That seems to be what Delenn's good at today. I can get that extra block I was talking about by... Um, sorry. By going ahead and putting in the water in the back that I needed to. Seven. I can't remember. I'm gonna forget, and then I'll. Oh, I know. It's because I put it on there instead of on, on there. Gotcha. Yeah, let's just move that. That's probably even easier than everything else. Okay. Dirt. Where'd you go? Dirt. 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 This. That. Blocks. These ones can come out. Mm. Oh, there. So yeah, one in, one out. All right, let's go. Observer. And piston. Where do I put you? Never gonna look the same for more than five minutes, anyways. There we are. Two. And the block across the back with stone. Right, so, um, I was just curious to, to ask you, Neon, what, what were you up to recently? I know sometimes there is our interesting adventures out in your area, or you sometimes get to visit some interesting places. I'm um, just kind of curious where you've been and what you've been seeing lately. I know you've been spending a lot of time helping us out at, here at the, at the various servers. It's always, good. it's always good to know what people people are into, you know? Okay. Nothing at the moment. Well, sitting and listening to me is, is definitely a something, but yes, I see what you mean. Yep, that'll do. It goes right where I need it. Okay. I'm having a lot of noob derp moments today, so... Sorry that you're getting stuck with that, but I'm uh, making progress. That's the key, right? My designated sleeper, as I'm jokingly calling Brian, um, is absent at the moment, and I don't have a problem with that. I, it's a good reminder that I need to sleep for myself sometimes. Alright, here we are. Okay, so let me take a look at this one and see if I think I may have figured it out. Okay, correct. There. I go to put in... I go to put in the rails. I screwed it up again. Yep. Okay, so which farm to fix first? This one or that one? Uh, no, actually. It does not go through partial blocks in Java, as far as I'm aware. Um... It does not work. You would think it would, but no. And I don't think we get the half slab trick either. On the other hand, we do get, um, you know, the usual uh, leaves and, and carpet trick. So, I mean, that's better than nothing. Better than nothing. So, yeah, I will end up needing to light this part up a little bit just to avoid getting critters and stuff running around in there. But it might help if I actually built it correctly to begin with. So what I really needed to do was something completely different than what I did. 
You would think I'd been watching um, other people. Actually, I was going to name names and I decided not to. Um, so you, you would think I would watch. was watching certain other streamers that have been commenting recently on how much they build and then tear down. Because we've got a few that note that in their streams quite frequently, that they tend to build and then tear down the same stream over and over and over. I will say though, at least we're not dealing with sheep today. So yeah, no sheep. No sheep derps this time around. So I will be this weekend um, starting... Another farm. Okay, so if I want the rails on the ground, then I built it right and just took it apart. Play. Well, could be worse. Could be worse. Okay, missed much in growth anyways. Yeah, because the rails will be on the ground pulling through this block layer, so we should be okay. Mm -hmm, glass, where to put you? Oops, and stone. Stone there. Let's put glass there instead. Good one, Delenn. Lock yourself in. Alright, okay, that should do the trick. I don't have to put a roof on it. Might as well, but I can come back to that because it's not going to spawn a lot except here, which I do have enough slabs for. Alright, let's do the math on this one. Did I set it up right or set it up wrong? Rails, block, produce, yes. Oops. Last on this side too. Aw oh, man. Okay. Rails, block. Nope. Rails with dirt block. Yeah, and then the dirt, and then the produce, okay. We've got rails with rails, dirt block, produce. No, actually I might. I might have it right. Let's move back down here and do the math one more time. The rails will suck through this block. Yeah, we should be okay. Well good, I didn't do it quite as badly as I thought. Alright. So it should be just a matter of putting a roof bucket on this one and then we're off to the next one. Did I get all of the redstone in there? I think so. Yep, I'm getting some, so that's a good start. Okay, that has to be... That has to be spawn-proofed? Do I want to slab it? Do I want to... Let's do the lazy person's... Uh... Easy way, why not? It's out of the way and I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, let's go the lazy person's way this way too. It doesn't have to look pretty, it's just functional. Swap this one for a slab. I think 
think, I think. I mean, I could put a stair up there, but if I'm going to be doing the rails later, then there's no point in worrying about that. Come on. Alright, that'll remind me about the rails as well. Okay, so that one should work, so I'll just take out the other stuff, just do a little cleanup as we go. Worry about the water sources underneath the slabs later. Let's regain a torch while we're at it, though. Okay. While it's not riveting content, um, I'm debating whether I go on to a. Oops. A villager run farm for carrots or whether I want to move on to a melon farm. Hmm. I can't seem to decide, but that's not helpful to anybody. In the meantime, I'm just gonna run over and grab a couple slabs and roof that, that box off and get that one out of the road. Am I using Optifine? Yes, I am. Yeah. Yep, it. I found a while ago that um, Optifine is more or less necessary for me, not because of any other reason than it does seem to help smooth out some of the challenges I was having with vanilla Minecraft uh, visuals, but also it allows me to put, well, I can put shaders and stuff on quite easily and so forth. I don't usually use, use shaders 95% of the time. But it does allow me to do that. And then I get this cool little tweak. Oops, nope, I don't have it enabled. Okay. There's the uh, zoom distance thing. I just can't remember what key it defaults to, and I have not re reassigned that. But yeah, so it gives me the, the spyglass style zoom gratis, I guess you could say. Although I wouldn't be surprised at some point if they end up taking that feature out of Optifine. Only in that... Um, spirit of parody and all that, um, though I can't exactly say that Java's known for parody changes. All right, did I? Yes, I did. Made a mistake here, but that's okay. Not a big one. Can't get up the roof to put on the glass if I don't actually have a way to get up there. There we go. One, two. Yeah, um, I should probably check and see if Optifine has an update. That's one of the items I haven't checked recently. Uh, sometimes, you know, of course, you, when you load up uh, Java Minecraft, which you may have seen on people's streams, that you get a little green circle. Really? You get a little green circle on the outside that says, um, you know, you have mods that are out of date. If, it, if they're designed to check for updates. But, um... Optifine is one I don't know if it falls under that category or not. I've never really bothered to, to check. But I should make a, a habit of periodically returning to make sure that I've got the latest version. I haven't found this one to be buggy, so I'm not too fussed. Um, okay. You know how to do it. Um, yeah, so I haven't found this one too buggy, but I, Optifine's had a, a bunch of little tweaks that I've found quite useful over the years. As, as usual, uh, since I was playing, um, Opti- or Optifine, yeah. Since I was playing Abduction yesterday, of course I keep forgetting to actually run. This one, because they've got run always turned on. The other thing about, oh, the other thing about, about, uh, Abduction is that I... I'm messing up my squat and run keys again, because shift is squat for me in Minecraft, but shift is the hold, like optional hold down to make yourself run in uh, in abduction. So in abduction, I keep thinking I'm going to 
crouch or something, or... Or, uh... What's the word? Yeah, that I'm going to have that type of behavior. And it doesn't actually happen, it speeds me up. Whereas this one, it reverses. The other thing I find is, although they have caps lock in the game to set a, an always run, so once I get that turned on, then I go to say hello to people in chat and it looks like I'm yelling. And if I wasn't the streamer, I suspect I'd be getting myself timed out an awful lot more. Just from using too many caps on my own stream. Don't know if that's possible. I don't know if the... I never looked into whether or not the... Uh, what do you call them? The bots. Whether or not the bots actually have an exemption for the streamer. Or if it'll time everybody out, which would be kind of weird to be timed out on your own stream. So I have a suspicion they do have an exemption for that. It's just one of those things that I never had to think about looking into. I would not want to have a cuss blocker though for myself. I don't tend to do it, but it's one of those ones that there's always a first time for some level of stupidity. So I need to check and see. Okay, am I getting anything out of this? Yes. Oh no. I think that's the sugar can I had dumped in there to start, so I actually don't know yet if this is working. I'm not sure I care at the moment, because if it, if it stays short, then I can assume it's working. If it gets taller, then I assume it's not working. And this one is just trucking along. One of the advantages of putting up on a hill like this is it gives me a bit more opportunity for Base. So if I move the chests over here instead, then if I want to have a second row, I can just jump them down one level. So that's probably a good plan to swip, swip, we flip it around later. But not critical at the moment. Um, where am I? Okay. I'm just gonna go stand at the sheep farm for a second and check them out while I figure out what I was up to next. Oops, I can pull that out, pull that out. I don't have space for that. Okay, fine. Yep, I'm getting some wool. That's good. All white. I have not dyed everybody yet. So we've got lots and lots of white wool coming through. Right. Oh, right. Um, now I remember where I was going. Not the conversation, though I did squirrel on that one as well. Um, no, I was going to look at doing pumpkin farms or uh, villager um, carrot farms. And one way or the other, I'm going to need a lot more of the... A lot more of the... Um, ugh. Hoppers. Yeah, because 39 is not going to cut it. Okay, is there anything else I can dump? Why do I... Oh, I know why I keep carrying those around. So another option that could come fairly soon. Uh, I just have to talk my way through the redstone in a in an experimental fashion outside of stream. But another item that could be coming fairly soon would be a bee farm. Uh, Swanky Potato did a good one on Bedrock last night. And... Um, I cannot see, with my limited knowledge, I cannot see a reason why it shouldn't work over here. So I may give that a go. Oops, nope, I don't want that. I want this one. Bottles back? Sure. All right. So I'm not in a rush for any of those materials, but I think I will leave the blocks and the bottles up here for now. I don't have to carry those around anymore. And I guess the excess of those. Put the item frames up top. Okay. The funny thing about, about having scaffolding that I've picked up on recently is my habit appears to be that unless I take them down one by one all the way down, even if it looks like there's nothing for it to touch on the way down, if I was to take it up, down from here, this is only 30 scaffolding, and I bet you dollars to donuts I would lose one. Um, 
iron. Right. Yeah, it just seems that every time I took that pile down to move it around, that I was losing one. That's one actually. Scaffolding is one of the reasons I'm looking at putting together. What did you pick that up? I don't remember you getting that. Oh well, whatever. Um, scaffolding is one of the reasons I'm looking at a mob farm. I don't really need the vast majority of the supplies in there. I mean, bones would be great because it's always good to augment the the um, bones or sorry the bone meal. Thank you. That one of this farm. Definitely good to augment this stuff, but not critical. So if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. It's not going to hurt anybody. Uh, why did I pick up that? Oh, I needed more hoppers. Right. Which is not going to happen here. It's going to happen over here because I need more of those chests that I thought I had plenty of. Right. Chests. You always need more. 11. That'll get me 11 hoppers plus 39. Still not enough. Because I need about, about at least 81 to start with. And actually probably more. Take those and this one. Not the jungle log. Dark. Let's make those all into things while I think about it. And then hoppers just to get them out of the way. 63, no. Let's take those two and make those into planks. Not into birch planks, no. Probably put the birch away before I make a mistake. I was intending to use that for decorative purposes on some of these farms, but I'll get back to replacing that when I get the... Uh, when I get the... Yeah, whatever it was. In. Oh, stripper. I see why I wanted those. Okay. Why did I just do that? Another chest. Let's make some more hoppers. Okay, we've got enough to start with anyway. And I would need a ton of observers for... Observers and pistons for a melon farm. But that might not be a bad idea. And then I'd have hoppers underneath. Hmm, need to think that one out. First things first. Move everything around. What's this? Sufficiency? Yes. Oh, no, I don't want. Don't want to use that one. Because if I use that one, I'm in all sorts of hurt with regard to I mean, melon slices laying around. I definitely don't want that. Where do these eggs? Eggs, please go away. Of course you have to be a new stack, don't you? Hmm. Melons, melons, melons. Yeah, let's just... Not dispensers. Heavens no. Where did I put... This one. Just bees. That. Alright. Here we go, or fortune, I mean. So I'm very, while I'm very excited for this weekend, I'm also nervous, um, as usual. Just in that one of the things that scares me most about doing a stream weekend um, even though I know I can do it, as in, like, it's not not something that I feel unable to do. That was last month. Um, I successfully managed to make my way through that that one. 
and nobody died. Or at least not on my stream. So I... Where is I here? Yeah. Nobody died, but the reason that, that it scares me is that everybody has a different style. Everybody has a different ability. Everybody's got their own thing. And that's great. It works really well, but I'm always second guessing myself to know if I'm gonna or to think whether or not I'm gonna measure up. I can be really hard on myself in that respect, which is not appropriate. Um I definitely am working on doing that less because it frequently gets brought to my attention that I'm being really picky about things like that. Um, so, that said... Oops. So, I guess it's the stream weekend it makes me feel that, that I need to work harder to measure up, which doesn't necessarily affect the choice of builds that I'm making because they will come as they will come. I'm not going to be able to change my speed in that sense. Just my brain design doesn't work that fast and I'm not a hoarder. We've, we've talked about this one in streams before that I'm definitely not a hoarder of supplies. So it means that if I don't have my build planned in advance, I don't know what I'm actually going to need or going to want. And um, did not rush through to push ahead and make tons of farms for advanced materials. So, um, rather than doing make-do designs, in a lot of cases, I would actually rather um, know what I'm looking for. But it does mean that I'm still back in the, the noob space on things. Um, I was watching Max Money EWA the other day, and found his stuff really interesting. He claims he's very much early game, very new in, to this season, and frankly, I'm surprised because... Um, just watching his stream, he got a lot of things done in terms of his storage facility. Um, he's got himself... Well, he's chosen at the moment to go with an iron farm that I actually quite like the design of, but it is very much a more manual situation to ask golems to follow you over top of magma blocks. Um, I have no problem with it. I actually quite like the look of it. I just don't have the time for that sort of thing anymore. Um, but the look of his village is very appealing. I mean, as you can see from around here, I have virtually destroyed my village. It practically does not exist anymore. And I was intending to build... build, build, build. In English, words are hard. Um, I was intending to fill it with other builds, but of course the ideas are there, and somewhere along the line somebody's got to have the mats. So, um, being as I don't live on here 24-7 as much as I would like to, then um, it, it just means that there are streams that are exciting like this part. You know, I need cobble to be able to build observers. So I'm mining cobble. But I mean, on the other hand, particularly because it's 118, I was not as inclined to go and strip mine for other minerals while or other ores while digging up a whole bunch of cobble. You know, that's... I wouldn't say that's for the birds, but it's something that did not appeal to me this season because I did an awful lot of that last season. There we go. That will get me going for quite some time. I'm going to need to do a lot more of this before the weekend, but I don't think I'll be doing a ton of it on stream. I picked up a lot because I keep forgetting to look in that chest when I want cobble. So I'm going to dump some inside after I've got more observers than I can shake a stick at. Or whatever fits, apparently. Come on. What did I... Mess oh, haha, <laughs> gonna need more redstone. That's what I messed up on. Okay, how much do we have here? Let's just take these. Don't need that stair. Stairs, you can go back. Over there. Um, I do want the stone. I'm gonna want more of the stone, so I'll have to go pick up that other pile. And yeah, that'll do. It's not perfect, but it will do. I say that a lot, so I probably will add a sound clip. I'm not sure whether I want the one from Shrek or Donkey when he's telling Donkey that will do, or whether I want. Um, the one from the movie Babe, where 
the non so verbose farmer McGregor, I believe it was, um, decided that he was going to tell the pig that he did a good job at the end of the movie. So we'll have to see which one I could find in short order and better quality and so forth. Is that all you're going to give me? That's really sad, buddy. Thank you. I need more. We're getting there, but you can you can do better than that. What do I have here that I can get rid of? Not a lot. Oh, you still don't want to sell me that. You punk. Fine. That'll have to do for now. Oops, that's not what I want. And servers. <laughs> Material gathering's fine on suit. Yes. I, I while I understand that 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 material gathering can be fine, Neon. I really appreciate the support on that one. Um, it's more that if I go silent because something has distracted me or I've hit a verbal wall, then I like to be able to have something visual. Um, or something to break the monotony. But, seeing as there's a variety of things that'll need to be gathered for the weekend, then doing... During the week streams, I don't mind, but I would really, really, really do not want to spend stream weekend doing that unless I've managed to accomplish what I've already set out to do in the first half of the in this first half of the stream. So that's where we're at. Okay, do we need more? I don't think I need a super mondo melon farm because I'm not planning on building things out of melons. And I have the iron farm now, so I don't need the iron farm to... Uh, or the iron replacement, and so I don't need to worry about saving that. On the other hand, 27 melons just seems kind of weak sauce. Especially since I'm going to want to be able to have... Um, I'm sorry. Especially since I'm going to want to be able to have a melon farm and a pumpkin farm, but I think in that case I'm going to separate them. Or maybe make them every second row sort of thing. This worked out relatively well, but then again, so did that design where the plants are actually every second stem you can see here because of because of the uh, texture pack I'm using you can see that every second stem is a different color and that that allows me to have the two of them together and, and see quite easily that I've done that respond no oh come on okay so we may be in for some heavy weather that I cannot deal with at this point in time that's okay at least I'm not going to have a whole load of phantoms over my head. Uh, did I save space? No, I did not save space. Let's throw the cobblestone back in here for now. We'll pick it up later. And 48. So basically, part one, I need to dig up the entire farm. Oh, me. Oh, me. Okay, Need. I'm going to need to do rails for this one too, so there will definitely be some mining in the nether. I think. Unless, actually, I think we got a piglin gold farm on the roof, so I might go check that out. Probably a little bit easier. Doop, doop, doop. But in the meantime, I can at least dig the hole. I don't need this stuff. The other reason I like to have... Yeah, actually... I, it, <clears throat> pardon me. I have this stem texture in Bedrock Tweaks, and, and I'm glad to hear that, because I was unaware of that. Um, and this one is actually in... I suspect it's probably, I don't know which version came first, whether it was Vanilla Tweaks or Bedrock Tweaks or whoever it was, but um, they have, yeah, they've got, I know Bedrock Tweaks is very much doing as much as they can of the Vanilla Tweaks type uh, look items or Bedrock as well. And then there's also, uh, this particular one I'm using is um, Faithful Tweaks, so I, I have a suspicion that somebody unrelated, although 
the website layout is very much the same, so it could be the same people. But in any case, they um, have built a custom website that has tweaks for when you're using the uh, faithful set. And it's possible that they actually may just be using, or they may just blah, blah. it may just be the vanilla tweaks gentleman doing it, They're doing the same site. Um, and the reason I say that is partly the layout is so close to identical and how it functions. The other part of it is that I suspect where appropriate and in spots where you don't need to have extra, um, what's the word? You don't need to have extra textures for, for the faithful texture pack, then why reinvent the vanilla tweaks wheel if you don't need to? You know, it just seems kind of silly. I also have more than a stack of these seeds in storage, so the fact that I'm running out of space is not a problem. Oops. Aiming is a problem, apparently. Okay. Uh, I probably will take a, a run to the nether to get the gold I need, just because it's not about boring people per se, other than myself. And I have definitely succeeded at that one today. It's one of those, um, you know, cabin fever, need off, the, need off the farm kind of things. So I may dump some. Okay, it's actually night, so I can sleep now. Rubber banding usually suggests we somewhere on the server we have a, a thunderstorm, but since it wouldn't let me sleep earlier in the day, it probably wasn't a proper thunderstorm. Now that it's nighttime, I can get back. Oops, and I was going to dump some more junk over there. Let's put some stone in here, because I'll know to look for it there. Uh, might as well throw hoppers in here, because that's where I'm going to do that project. I need a gazillion pistons. That's one piece of redstone, that's not going to hurt anybody if I lose it. Put the observers in there, ports in there. Okay. And throw chests in there. Oops. I think I'm gonna need glass, but I'll just leave it. Oh, don't need to be wasting a slot for two buckets. All right, that should get me at least enough to pick up the rest of this mess. S boom. <laughs> no. <laughs> Certainly not. Actually, it's funny. I was thinking, I mentioned repeatedly that I'm thinking about putting on new uh, new sounds prior to the weekend because they it's just adding to the existing pile. Why did I do that? That was kind of dumb. Anyways, um, it's just adding to the existing pile of, um, of sounds that I've already got set up. So it's not like I'm going to be tweaking things. There we go. Um, it's not that I can, I can be changing base settings and stuff, so hopefully things will still work when I uh, add new sound, but definitely not going to be having things like that. I don't do well with uh, jump scares of any sort, and particularly since I'm going to be building things like mob farms, I'm not intending to allow other mobs to harass me over the weekend nor players that like to play sounds of other mobs. But um, it doesn't mean those sounds won't come. I'm just really not comfortable with it for a while. I don't really... Personal taste is that those kinds of uh, jokes aren't funny. Tool breaks, maybe. But mobs that make me jump out of my skin. On the other hand, if if some of those do come, um, then you can, you can guess which ones won't be included easily. Um, but that's just because I want to be able to get things done this season rather than spending time uh, healing healing because I fell off something due to my own stupidity when I had a jump scare. On the other hand, like the... On the other hand, for the number of times I use that phrase, maybe I should put, put in a clip from um, uh, Fiddler on the Roof, the musical, where the main characters... One of the main characters is talking about 
things about on one hand and on the other hand, and he ends up with about like four or five hands going on when he explains it that way. Okay. Um, but on the other hand, as I said, it, it's funny for some, and you know, if that's what people, if that's what floats your boat, once in a blue moon, it'd be fine. Maybe I just put a stupid price on them, or maybe I would put a ridiculous uh, time out on them. That's another way of surviving it, so that it, it encourages me to be in the right headspace. The other thing I can always do is, over time, separate that one into a, a different um, sound source if I really want to. And then in that case, um, it would be less likely to happen, or I could make it easier to shut off those ones when I'm not in headspace to handle that sort of thing. I don't know. I'll have to think on that one more, but early game I'm going to be not having those types of sounds. Early game. I don't even know when early game is going to end, now that I think about it. <laughs> yeah, the closed captions is definitely not always accurate, partly because it doesn't understand a lot of the Minecraft specific terms, partly because sometimes I don't enunciate. I swear that it has serious issues with Canadian English as opposed to American English. For some reason, it doesn't know what to do with it. Um, but also, case in point, if you were to watch a YouTube video where it's like, say, one of Dadcraft's videos, and you see the little introduction bit in his closed caption. YouTube likes to call him Dead Crab, which gives you a good idea of just how bad some of the closed captioning is. Um, but one of the other things I've been warned about, and I keep forgetting, is that if I want closed captions to be reliable, no matter which source it is, whether it be one I've got on there right now, or whether it be another source, um, I would need to actually consciously think about slowing down my speech, because that's... I don't think I need to be um, Harry Potter's Professor Bin's grade pokey slow, because that just makes one really uninteresting to listen to. It starts sounding like Ben Stein. And if you don't know who that is, it's okay. Look him up. Um, but sometimes I speak too fast, or I fill in words really close uh, upon using fillers like ums and ahs and extra like and by doing so the closed captions attempts to take that out so combining those quickly with fra phrases that i've said too fast really uh takes or takes the accuracy of the closed captioning service down a lot so although i say i have it i, I would not rely on it by any means I'm actually tempted at some point to consider, for when I do YouTube archives, um, to sit through and write out captions. But A, that's a lot of work that's probably not worth the trouble uh, for the amount of people that would use it. And B, I would end up probably attempting to expurgate what I said and take out things I thought were stupid, which is not... It re reduces the veracity, I guess. Of the, of the service, in which case why bother, right? Okay, buckets. You need to come with me. I'm gonna take out this water this time. Enough is enough. And I cannot recall for the life of me, at the moment, what, um frequency of water I'm going to need for the iron farm, or not the iron farm, the melon farm I'm building. That's okay, that's something I can look up if I have to. If you start exploding to where you have over 100,000 followers on YouTube might be worth it. Well, yeah, I mean, if I do that, that's worth it. It's, it's, um, or if I do something critical, so let's say I actually bother to put it, to cut out a manual a manually created highlight reel of my favorites, then I would probably consider um, writing up a manual closed caption script for that. But just for regular regular streams, one would have to be a little bit um, obsessive compulsive for that to happen. Oops, give me just one second. I've got a creak in my office and I'll be right with you.
All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Um, as I may have mentioned at the start of the stream, my daughter Sheep Queen ha is at home with her persistent cough. And so um, while she's been doing a pretty good job of taking care of herself and actually is relatively self-starter for her age um, on her schoolwork, which is thankfully online in Google Classroom, um, sometimes things do come up and she wants mom's opinion on things. So that's... You know, I really have no objections to helping her out with that, as long as it doesn't totally and utterly derail the stream. And today's challenge was that um, the science that was posted for her during the science slot on her time schedule was, um, well, one, ridiculously simple in the first place, so beneath her challenge level, but also I think it was the stuff from... Like the teacher has a split class, so I think it was only the stuff from the previous grade and that her grade stuff didn't get posted. So um, I gave her a couple of other ideas of things she can do instead. And then I said, but, but please don't come in during my stream slot unless the world's ending. And she, because she had some ideas of what she could do. Love her to bits. She says hi to everybody in the stream. But we also need to learn to iron out some of these kinks. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube followers are because at the moment I'm archiving things and that's it like that's really it it then I actually don't have a single one and I'm okay with that um, I think that unless one's an affiliate on on um, Twitch that the number of um, days that your material your VODs are saved is actually frustratingly small when you're just starting out. Um, I think we're looking at like two weeks or something, but at the rate I go, I've got three streams a week, unless it's a stream weekend. And you can't legitimately expect people who aren't able to make the regular stream time slot um, if they have an interest in, in watching that streamer. Pardon me, you can't expect them to be able to keep up when it's when you're looking at more time, or as much time, to watch the streams in and around your daily life that kept you from them in the first place, um, and still catch everything. So that's why I've been archiving on YouTube. Um, there, are, there are, because of my um, discomfort, I guess you could say, with some of the wildness that goes on in Twitch streams, I will admit I've been looking at whether or not I want to occasionally do streams of other material, on on YouTube instead um, just be because it's it, it's a little bit what's the word um, more complex no that's not the word basically it has to do with my comforts with regards to friendly friendliness and material that um, doesn't necessarily need to get talked through um, so I was looking at potentially doing like the Ancestors game on YouTube, but that would be an extra day on top of this. So it's the idea is very, very cold storage right now. Um, it could happen, but yeah, it's one of those don't count on it elements. Um, let's put this slot away. So anyways, that's just sort of my hot thought for the moment. And I'm putting things away just so that I don't lose them so that I can take a quick trip into the nether. And, uh, we'll get some of that gold. <laughs> Put this away. What did I miss? Oh, I don't want to lose that. Actually, yeah, I don't want to lose that. And I don't... Definitely don't need two buckets of water. Let's hide one in here. Do I have... What I'm looking for... Mm, yeah, I do have a cauldron. Excellent. Cheaty McCheaterson. All right. Uh, efficiency should work. Okay, let's leave the fortune one behind. Oops. Fortune behind. And... Let's pull the efficiency one. Oops, actually the silk touch one out. The efficiency one there. Let's see why I would need that. Put some dirt actually as building blocks. It's probably a smart idea. No, not dirt. Um, 
there. Let's take another rack. And dirt in a pinch. What's this? Iron? No. Certainly not. The family's a norm for a few streamers. Yeah, no, I, I do get that. And it's not a matter of saying, hey, you can't be seen on stream. Um, it's just the whole dead stop thing for long periods of time. Particularly when I'm trying to encourage her to be a little more independent. Um, so I don't see it as her doing anything wrong to interrupt. Um, I do recognize that that is just reality for a lot of people. That's the way it is for a lot of lot more people. Um, I just ask her to be more independent when it comes to being able to, to do her schoolwork. Um, and I mean, I'll give her credit because earlier in the week, this, the teacher actually had some pretty weak sauce instructions, simply because I suspect there was nobody absent from class at that time. And so Brianna actually came up with... Uh-oh. Mm. Shouldn't have said that. Yeah, so we'll just go with that. Pretend it didn't happen. Um, but Sheep Queen said that she was going to do some certain educational game, and I gave her permission to do so because... You know, these these days, how many kids want will actually pick to do a game that has math, or pick to do um, some? Well, if you're not normally a computer coder, pick to do some coding. Okay, before I run into trouble, let's just go and get this done. I need that gold. But yeah, so she's she generally a really self, good self starter, and can tell me afterwards what she did. And then because I had got after her a little bit the other day for um, not looking back at the previous days to see if there was anything that she had missed working on uh, due to late posting by the teacher, then um, I got after her for that. So then she felt that she had to come and check in and say, hey, I have a really bad um, set of instructions. What can I do? I can't blame her, you know? Why? Why bother? Okay, it's, I don't need those spots, so let's just turn those off. Off, I said. Haha, yeah. <laughs> that's not me for once. On the other hand, I probably should go steal that cart. Just because, I mean, it's close to home, and I may not have a cart that functions for me in the other side. Stoner Miner can give me instructions out the wazoo on, oops, on how to operate this place correctly. And I will mess it up every single time, but at least I do not break the place. Not that I've been told, I guess. Okay. Oh, no, not the witch farm. I need gold. Let's go to this. Gold farm! Alright. So. Oh, good. There's carts in here. Usually when I look in here, there are not carts. And that's the key. If I can't get a cart, then it's not going to work for me. Oops. I did it again. Keeps telling me not to stand there. Oh, for guilt factor. Let's just hop in. There we go. I think he told me to stand on that white block that was right in behind where things went, because it pops up and down, so it gives you an auto start. Like a self start of things. Yeah, this is a beautiful yet very complex situation. I think I think I was told it can hold up to 29 routes. Um, Stoner Miner is definitely quite the prolific builder. And he also loves to AFK at all kinds of hours that, that I don't. Um, I have a suspicion that, that where he is, he makes it really easy for him to log his character on um, pretty much ev right after every reboot of the computer, whereas I don't. Um, I guess I could get a script built that would do it, but to me that's a little bit cheaty. AFK is good enough. We'll just see where this thing dumps me out, because if it dumps me out right here, as I suspect it's going to, then I will just climb up there and see what we've got going. Oh! 
Okay, well, that's different. You can just sit there for a while. What's this? Chests. Really? Bonus. Okay. As you can see, I have not ridden all of the rails. I might actually make a fun time lapse at some point, just for fun. And yes, I said that twice. Um, what do we got going here? Large chest of nothing. Good. Oh. Well, I know what that is, but... Looks like something isn't quite operating as expected. And there's excess stuff. I have a suspicion it's probably intended to have an on and off. Intentional entity death variety. Okay. I'm kind of curious what that does. Oh. Ew. Yucky. That's kind of fun. It just shoves them off. Oops. Are you shovelable? No, you're not shovelable. Wow. That makes a horrible noise, especially an echo. You can, like, clean everything up that way. Well, most of it, at least. So I can either swipe. Okie okay, Dinah. Fun noise. Why not? Okay, let's go back down. Let's just see what we've got going on. I mean, that was that was a kick. Oh, come on, you silly thing. Let me down. Where did I... Did I miss a line? No. Really? Okay. What am I missing? What am I missing? Okay, so... I'm just looking down. Why can't I? Hmm. Oh, that would be a cliffhanger, haha, <laughs> of sorts. Alrighty. Oh. Really, Delenn? I should be able to. Fine. All else fails. Jump. And I walk right off the edge. Or splat. Mm-hmm. Mob kill zone, you think? Okay, let's go back up and walk across. Because the cart dumped me on the other side, so... Yeah. Yeah, something did not look right there. I think those are going to need to probably get boxed in so that things don't just pile up there. But I'm not totally sure. Oh, so that's how that works. Okay, well, at least we know that I didn't die from jumping. Oh, 
Um, sent screenshot? Oh, question. I see. I see. Possibly. Or I can just jump and then grab it after the thing's done. Yeah, because you're spawning in the wrong place, too. So that's not... not right. And neither am I. Come on. That was not smart on my part. Let's jump down here, then. And over there. You. Go. Well, I cleaned up most of what was going on over there. But I... Oh, I got an ingot. Stack. A nugget from all that chaos. Yep, stuff's been kind of stuck. So I think there's a... A, there's a problem, and B... the stuff I saw, and then I'll come back and AFK for it later, because I got things to do. People have spent a lot of time getting things working here, so I'm not too surprised that every once in a while things don't always go quite the way you expect. Hmm. I don't have handy way of making this non-spawnable. Well, yeah. So I left things behind. That was a bad idea. Okay. Let me go. Ah. And here we go. I didn't play my, my little sound. I had a jump sound I should have played when he jumped off there. Oh well. Yeah, I'll probably grab a screenshot from my video on demand and or a few of them and just pop them over so that the guys who built it can can see if they can figure out what they want to do to fix it. I mean I've got ideas, but I don't know enough to make an attempt. Confidently, there's probably a reason for the way things are built the way they are. But I got what I came for. And then some, and I will come back and AFK off camera. Come back in a few off camera. Yeah. Wow. That closed captioning is really busted. I will come back and spend some time away from keyboard to try and refill the farm. How's that? It still doesn't like me. No wonder it doesn't make any sense, Neon. <laughs> okay, let's head home. I'd rather finish up at home than... No, not there. Silly me. Go over here. There, that's a better idea. So, you may be seeing this, this face again a lot this weekend. Um, it, I believe we have this being our farm, not our farm, our museum. Now this plate should have a date from the last, um, the last, uh, stream that we had. Because there's all the, the gunk from that. Actually, it's not really gunk, it's good stuff, but, um, there's all the blocks from it. We had a red chest to match with the one that was on the bedrock server, but when it got into these pillars, Particularly since all the empty ones in advance are uh, original color for the shulkers, then the red one looked really out of place. Um, we'll have to see if we keep it that way. I don't know, but at least we're going to start dating panels. So if this isn't the one that people need this weekend because it's already got stuff in it, then we'll probably use one of the other ones. I'm not quite sure which, what order we wanted to put things in. There was some discussion and I wasn't present for it. But yeah, that's, that's what we're going to be using for a museum because 
as you can see, if we do one, two, three, well, there's only three in that one, but if we do yeah, three and then possibly a fourth one in these front pillars, then we will be set for well over a year and possibly beyond. So we don't need to, to rush on figuring out what to do beyond that. Okay, making sure I didn't mess it up. Let's try and stand on the white block this time. Hit the button. Oh, I made it. Yay. There's a first for everything, and apparently that was the first for riding the farm correctly. Oh, yeah, I could have let the netherrack despawn. Part of it is I suspect I'm going to be back. And if there's guys spawning up top, then the sheer number that would... That would um, spawn at the bottom is probably going to be minor in comparison. So, don't want to leave it like that for sure. The other thing is I'll probably come back with, with at some point, some more scaffolding. Alrighty. Oh good, we're back and it's not nighttime for a change. So let's get that farm fixed up properly for the bamboo at least, and add the augmentation for the, um... Yeah, the bamboo is the, is the easy one, because I'll just leave the water in the front and put the... the thing underneath, whereas this one... I'll put the thing underneath to start, um, but since I have to rebuild the whole thing anyways, then, uh, I can take out this front water source altogether. I keep thinking that I've got it wrong, that it's two blocks high, but it's not. I've only got it one block high. But even so, um, I really will not need this piece in the front with all the water. So I'll just take that one out. Yeah. Anyway, um, where was I? Let's finish up. Oop, I need the... Yeah, can't make redstone powered rails without redstone. There we go. Do it here. And you need iron. My brain just went to lunch, so. It's going to bug me if I don't finish this this one up. Get me some iron. I would bet you I'm missing something else. Yep, I'm missing something else. What am I missing? Oops. Uh, rail. Okay. In the all search. Rail. Powered rail. Sticks. Really? Of all the things... Of all the things... To be missing... Okay. Powered rail. Sticks. Will that do? Actually, no, by the time I do the other farms, I'm going to need more. What am I missing now? Redstone. Of course. That's fine. We will do that another day. Let's just get this one. Oh, missed something else. Arr. Arr. RD. Okay. That. Okay. Let's look at a double light switch style. So I'm going to need a lever on this end, and I'll make another lever for the other end. Oops, wrong one. Wrong pick. The sides, which... Oh, let's just finish this farm up and then call it a day. 
one, and this one. One, two. There we go. And I've got. Oh. Am I going to forget? I would lose my head if it wasn't screwed on. Seriously. Okay, minecart. With a. Yep. Of course, I put the hoppers elsewhere. That's exactly what I would do. One of the things I miss about um, NEI, I guess, or not NEI, um, but modded, is just being able to have a storage system where you put everything you need on the correct pieces, and then it just works. You know, like you can just get whatever you want from one station. Okay. You can hear it. Good. It stopped at the other end. What? Oh, fiddle fiddle. Hey, you. Can I push it? I'll break it. Let's break it. If I have to think first, break it later, right? Alright, where did... Get that sword out of the way. That will probably help. This one and this one. Dirt. I'm going to hope that works. Probably forgot something again. Where are we? Oh, right, cobble. Sticks. Mm hmm. You can be my sticks. And. Watch me have a lever. Yep, I do. Minecart, come on. Minecart. Oops, that's not going to work. Yeah, it is. Okay. This way. Nope, something went sideways. Can't believe I just did that. Derp city. Oops. No, I don't want to do that. There, let's try this. Um, why aren't you working? Uh oh, that was not what I wanted. Yeah, that's better. Probably too fast, but hey, it's better than nothing. Okay, so let's put this back in just so I'm not carrying it. Actually, let's take it out. I can measure if, if things are actually working. Certainly not working. Okay. 
let's troubleshoot that differently because obviously I did something wrong that I'm going to regret. And I think I know what. Nope. Hmm. I know I made a boo-boo. There's probably people who know what's going on uh, screaming at the screen. So I know that this one works. I know this one should work and there's something I did horribly stupid. And I... Oh! Duh! No. Let's try. Yeah, I think I know what I did that was wrong. Because that should have been breaking off, even if some and have some of it catch in, in the bottom. But those 56 were exactly what I had before. It's full right up to the top, so none of the observers were were successfully firing the pistons, and I think I know why. Let's. Which one is this? Is that where I want it? Nope, not there. Oh, nope, I do not. But that's okay. I will leave her here, just as, as the sun is setting. Turn ourselves around. As the sun is setting, we have one farm almost complete that will be definitely finished before the weekend. One farm functional. And then on the weekend, we will start with tearing down the monstrosity in the back and off to put up a new farm, hopefully. And um, so I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. For those who dropped in late, we are having a Dadcraft Patreon server stream on the weekend. So hopefully you'll be able to join us. I wish everybody a good week and see you guys at the next stream on Saturday. Looks like there's Bruno is available for us to uh, raid, so I'm just going to shut this down and see if we want to give Bruno a, a quick little boost for the day. <laughs>